What is up you guys? I am in my vlogging era right now. I don't know, I feel like I've been picking up the camera every day this week. Um, if you haven't been on my channel recently or are new here, I just dropped like three vlogs this last week. So if you guys want, go check that out. Um, but yeah, y'all, so I'm in, where am I? Denver, Colorado right now. I'm on a three stop load as you saw by the title. Um, so we're dropping in all different parts of Colorado. First stop is gonna be Denver. I'm like 30 minutes away from delivery. It is currently a little past midnight. I just got ready to start my shift. It's 12, 16, the first delivery. It's gonna be three in the morning, but the actual place does not open until 3.20, it said in the notes, so. I'm not in any rush to get there early like I normally would be. Um, but yeah, the second stop is gonna be in Centennial, Colorado. The third stop is gonna be in Aurora. But those are not scheduled until tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna call them when I'm in the dock and see if they can take me early or work me in at some point today. Um, if not, I'm not really too worried about it because I'll just vlog or whatever um the details on this load i picked it up in kansas it's 622 miles total y'all so with the stops included and everything and it's paying me 2600 dollars. so that's over four dollars a mile so it's a it's a solid load um so yeah let's get the night started and see what this load brings <laughs> Yo, why did I almost walk into the man's restroom? That would have been so bad. We're literally wearing what we're always wearing. Black leggings. Blue leather sweatshirt. Nike sneakers. Gotta get the started. I never even know what I like. I used to get Slim Jims a lot, but then I feel like I overate them. So now it's literally just Nike sneakers. Nike sneakers. Every night. These help keep me awake too. People say sunflower seeds. These keep me awake. Sunflower seeds annoy the fuck out of me because then you gotta like spit them out and it's just an annoying process. I don't know. We are here. I'm sitting here doing paperwork. Um, one thing about me, I hate paperwork like anything to do with anything like that so with prime like we have to do trip sheets and stuff which is basically like this just saying like where my load was going whatever the trip numbers all of that yeah when i tell you i wait last minute every time i know my payroll lady hates me i don't know why i do it but i do um but yeah we're all lined up on the road right now luckily i got a spot that's pretty good um there's like three trucks that are behind me since i pulled in but that is the gate right where that car just came out of and they do not get there until 3 20 it says so i'm not sure why my appointment was set for three if they don't even open till 3 20 but yeah i'm gonna wait until exactly 3 20 because if i go up to the gate and the gate doesn't open i'm gonna be screwed because there's nowhere to back up or do anything really so yeah we're just gonna wait a little bit and then and then go y'all why did my gopro die i was literally trying to record getting in the door i came at the perfect time because when i tell you guys um i probably came in at like 2 30 but there was so many people on that road and now they're all coming in like navajo just came in another prime somebody else but i literally just got into the dock and as soon as i pulled in they were already like door up waiting for me to back in and they're already in my trailer so it should be fast and then i'm gonna type in where i'm going next but like i told you guys earlier i can't deliver there till tomorrow anyways so it is what it is but i'll let you guys know when we're unloaded here because like i said i feel like it's gonna be super quick because look That was literally, I kid you not, 10 minutes. They literally just unloaded me in like 10 minutes. But I put my load lock back in and I'm gonna close this door. Um, and, oh, hold on guys. 
I put my load lock back in. I'm gonna close the door and then I'm waiting for paperwork. I hate these new trailers, y'all. I hate them so bad. pull up a little bit more and then the next spot is 25 minutes down the road so I'm gonna see if they'll unload me early and if not it is what it is and we'll wait till tomorrow I'm gonna go put this seal on while I wait for the paperwork um, put the seal on and then lock her up hopefully it doesn't take too long for the paperwork I doubt it will because they seem to just be fast here but we will see I also like couldn't get yeah when I tell you I literally cannot stand these freaking new trailers the 24s and 25s like they're damn near impossible to fucking What's it called? Open and close. And the, oh, I just realized I was gonna use the lock to push it down. Cause I didn't wanna go get my mallet. But honestly, I'm about to just go get the mallet. Cause I don't understand though. Like why is it doing that? Let me go get it, hold on. Okay, so they unloaded me super fast, but literally I've been waiting uh, like two and a half, three hours for the paperwork. It's about to be six o'clock. And then I just went inside and finally got the paperwork after sitting in there for like 30 minutes. But there's an overage of seven cases and she didn't say anything about it. I realized it when I got out here. So I'm gonna go back in and see if they left those cases on my trailer or if they took them or what's going on. So I have to walk back in and figure it out. So I just went inside and figured it out and called claims and everything, but it was an overage of seven cases on meatballs and they ended up taking the product, thank God, because that would have been a whole thing if they didn't take it. So they took the product, so now I don't have to worry and I'm just gonna go find somewhere to park. I don't know if I'm gonna go to a truck stop or just a Planet Fitness, that way I can work out. You guys, look how freaking pretty the sky is right now.
it's really like I probably could park in here but it's not a big parking lot like I thought it was gonna be the plate of fitness is right over there but honestly I don't know I think I'm just gonna go somewhere else because this area is like downtown Denver which is like not where I'm trying to be right now so yeah and I feel like even if I did park and like go work out later or whatever like I wanted to I wouldn't feel comfortable with Palm. I wouldn't feel comfortable with Palm like being alone. I would worry about him because literally y'all, it's like, I don't know. It's the hood. Ah, oh, now he's about to get attacked by a squirrel. Oh no. But I'm scared of animals. I don't know why. Like that horse the other day, y'all were like, he's friendly. I don't care what anybody says. And this squirrel too, like damn. Yeah. I don't know. I'm about to get the hell out of here, though. Yeah. Mm-mm. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Look at him, y'all. Peeing everywhere. Come on, let's go. Let's go. This is where we ended up. At Walmart. But it's fine, because I have a few things that I need to get anyway. What you got? What you got? What is that? What is that? Come here. Show them. Show them. Is it a stick? One thing about Palm, he's gonna find a stick. Yeah. It's literally like an hour before they close. And I only just woke up. Okay, y'all. My bag fell over, but we made it out in time before they closed.
for you. Okay, you guys, so they're done unloading me, but I don't know what this lineage had going on where I picked this up because the last stop was short four cases. This stop has four cases that are damaged. So they left me with this and this, which I don't know why they just threw those like that, but um, it's, what is it? Is it all ground turkey, I think? I don't even know. Actually, this pallet might be the next stop and they might've thought it was theirs. Honestly, I have no clue. But yeah. to do with the product Okay, y'all, so I'm here at the 90, finally, the third stop. Um, we made it. So I called claims before I left and they basically said to just um, do what I want with the product. So I'm gonna try right now to look up like a food bank or somewhere that like feeds homeless people to give it to. Um, so they can like cook for them with it instead of just throwing it away or giving it to drivers or something. Ground pork. Ground pork I yeah. think, right? All of it? Something yeah. else maybe. Yeah. Okay. We are out here at the food bank in Denver. Food bank of the Rockies. 
they just unloaded my trailer really fast for me. And I'm low-key parked in the way, so I'm gonna hurry up and go get a receipt so that I can get the hell out of here. But I always like to do this versus like throwing it away, obviously, because I know a lot of drivers that do that and it's just like, for what? It was only, it wasn't far, so it wasn't like super out of my way and to be able to feed people, you know, why not? But I'm about to go get a receipt right now. And yeah, they were super nice and just grabbed it right off for me. So let me get this receipt. We're out here helping Super Ego Park. I parked in the middle of the road because he was blocking it. You got it, come on. So we just helped Super Ego Park and that horrible dock, that is a bad dock over there. Um, but they were like right in front of homeless people. He was right in front of homeless people, like about to hit their tent. So now I my memory card had filled up but yeah we helped him because he really needed it but there was like homeless people in front and he was like about to hit their tents and stuff so i'm gonna help them um because i don't have another load on me yet anyway so i have this with water watch out bum i have this just so that you can have some water it's not like a good quality no it's fine it's just that one i grab like i have a little swallow in <laughs> oh do you want treats um, if they're soft, yes. If they're hard, oh, sure let me see. The hard one. Okay, let me see. Wait, I think they're all kind of hard, but this one has like yogurt on the bottom. So maybe if you like break it up, okay, maybe, or just give her like the parts with yogurt. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna deliver pizzas. Okay. How many? How many people usually are? See, guys, this is the tent living in and she was just telling me like they just got bulldozed the other day it's just sad so um i'm ordering them doordash right now because i don't want to stay here i want to go like shower and stuff so instead of me getting the food for them i'm just going to order the doordash um i'm just going to send over four large pepperoni pizzas um and i gave her some new water and stuff so that is what we're doing i'm gonna just get it sent over here and then we're gonna go park and shower and figure out our next load parked over here at a TA and they gave me another load but I don't know if I'm gonna take it or not because it's all the way in Idaho but yeah that's gonna be it for this video because I need to edit and post but I will see you guys in the next the next vlog pom pom you say bye say bye